time now to look at what's good. We need it, right? When veterans, <laughs> yeah, we need that. some good news. Uh, when veterans come home from serving our country, my friends, uh, it can be very difficult to transition back to civilian life. Many suffer from PTSD, meaning noises on the street to sounds in their own home can be so jarring and difficult to cope with. Our own Amy Pafrath visited a construction site where veterans are taking their livelihood into their own hands. You always come with something good. I always try to bring a little <laughs> sunshine. And we are going to look at one particular veteran who is about to be a first-time homeowner, and he's moving into what's known as a veteran-enriched neighborhood. These are uniquely designed to support former military members and their families by promoting healing, financial literacy, and self-sufficiency. There's no place like home, and building a new one is a dream for most Americans. Home costs are soaring, and it's challenging to enter the market, especially for veterans. Today, Daniel Camarillo is checking out the progress on his new home. He spent four years in the Army and has been moving around ever since. Now he's ready for some stability. I left with more, bag more baggage than I had came in with, I guess, you know, physically and mentally, right? When I enlisted, I was a, uh, you know, 18-year-old, 19-year-old uh, young man. To come home four years later with a uh, wife and two kids was a uh, big change, a big jump. He's able to purchase this home at cost, thanks to an organization called Homes for Families. Danielle De Leon, Director of Corporate and Community Engagement, understands the unique challenges our veterans face. A lot of times um, our military veterans are sort of a step back when they get out of the military because they go in at such a young age and then they sort of miss that growing period where that most 18, 19, 20 year olds get where they have their first apartments, they have roommates, they have all those things. Our veterans end up going into the military and then coming out with a full family and having to figure out how to support that family and how to reintegrate into society along with all the PTSD because every veteran comes away with some sort of PTSD. And the houses are built with that in mind. These cabinets, the drawers, but you open them and then they don't slam shut. They close nice and slow. Loud noise, bang, smash. Um, can affect, you know, affect people differently. A veteran, when they hear a noise, they've been taught to be hyper-reactive. They like to see what, well, what's making the noise. Oh, I know what's making the noise. That's where my water lines lie. For them to see it, for them to know it, for them to build it, it's really helpful for them. Veterans put sweat equity into their own homes and work alongside volunteers under the supervision of General Superintendent Braley Franco. The veterans, it means everything to them, obviously. They put their life on the line for us, so this is the least we can do. And when they come out here and see it, they are so thankful. Daniel and his family were living in a garage at one point. They were on the base of homelessness. And and to, so to see this come for him, it's, it's very rewarding. Daniel's house is almost finished, and his kids can't wait to be home. My son, the littlest, the seven-year-old, he already knows all the neighbors and the neighbor kids. Um, he said he can't wait to get in here and you know, be able to go outside and hang out. And it's that sense of community that makes these neighborhoods special. And through their research, Homes for Families found that veterans thrive in communities of 12 or more, so they will never build a site that has less than that. In fact, they have one that is now being built in Palmdale with 56 new homes, and they're looking for applicants. And a lot of times veterans hear about these programs, but they feel like they're too good to be true because they have a lot of empty promises. But this is the real deal. So if you are a veteran or know a veteran who wants to be a first-time homeowner, go to homesforfamilies.org and apply. That's so awesome. It's a great organization. And such the beauty of community, right? Yeah. To be amongst other people who share your experiences. Yes. So that, you know, you don't have to walk alone, right? You're, you have a lot of support, and especially for veterans coming back struggling with PTSD and other, you know, things. Absolutely. There are neighborhoods where people get it. Yeah. And the community center you saw at the end, it's a great place for them to go and get support as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of ways you can contribute, too. If you go on their website, I hosted a... a fundraiser for them last fall over the edge they the celebrities oh, came yes. and and repelled off the universal oh, hilton so which was cool. so fun they raised tons of money <laughs> but you can go and uh and donate your time donate mm -hmm. your money and it's just such a wonderful organization could it be really happy. Is. you Thanks always bring us something good <laughs> yes we like Thank that you. that's the name of my segments i'm glad to see you guys yeah, yes. super soul thursday your theme song should be that song tell super me something good. good all right